wanted to cover a few items about the drones in school program that have came up. I just want to make sure everything is clear for everyone as they're going through the process of getting started. The first thing I want to say, you've probably already seen this, but we are so excited uh, that we have our national race scheduled for April 27th and 28th in Orlando, Florida. And this is really our first national race since COVID. Uh, and so if you think about that, we our first year that we had the competition uh, was 2018-19. And then uh, we had a national race here in Ohio, but it was our first year. So we didn't have that. We had maybe 12 teams, I suppose, that were at our national race. It was our first year as an organization. Now we're four years down the road. So we have our national race. Uh, we're planning to have 32 teams. And the most exciting part is this is going to be at the AUVSI, which if you're not familiar with that, it's the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International, which is really the largest uh, unmanned, unoccupied organization uh, that advocates for, for those industries. And they have this huge conference called Exponential. So I want to show you a little bit about that conference here, a little short video highlight from that conference and what your students can look forward to. It's one of those shows you just can't miss. It's the biggest conference in the world. Everybody's here, and that's really good to be here. It is the one-stop shop for this industry. You can see everything, you can learn everything, and you can expose your company and your technology to pretty much anyone who is important and interested in this industry. This is where the rock stars are. Uh, this is where the latest and the greatest come out. This is where unmanned systems and robotics basically come together. And to me, that's real magic. Hey, this is the most exciting place literally on the planet. Like, it's amazing. I'm like a little kid in a candy shop when I walk around here. Like, each booth is so amazing. You get your technology uh, integrators, you get your subject matter experts, state, local government, federal government all under one roof. Like you've got somebody from the utility industry talking to somebody from the oil and gas industry. They have similar kinds of applications, uh, but they're learning from each other. It's a very, very broad range of things that are going on. You know, it might be air and ground. It might be something that, that we're learning using the maritime domain. It's kind of a smorgasbord of everything. It's like a buffet of, of technology and industry. Everything's here. You can find any type of information about operations, applications, regulations, anything worldwide. Everyone's an enthusiast, and so you can really kind of get the ideas flowing about how we begin to integrate this into our state, reap the benefits, and really enable this technology. We want to expose our technology here to the community, and we also want to see what everyone else is doing. Where is the commercialization of this industry headed? I, I love what I'm seeing in terms of uh, the floor this morning. It's pretty clear that there are new vendors here with new innovation. We're trying to get ahead of where the technology is and incorporate that into our investment decision-making process. But I'm seeing new innovation that makes me wonder Gee, uh, we are really inventing uh, the future here in many ways. So I, I think about this in the context of how we invest, and got to tell you, it's a pretty high bar. The, the networking is 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 tremendous because the conversations that you're going to have here, you're not going to have anywhere else. So far, there's a lot of people that they're their own best kept secrets. AUVSI helps to spotlight that throw everybody out in the forefront so we all know what each other is doing. We get to have some more in-depth conversations and we learn a lot also from our partners while we're here. We brought several of our young engineers along with us on this trip and we've just kind of turned them loose and said spend the time on the exhibit floor, sit in these sessions, there's so much to learn. And I'm constantly amazed about what I saw that very first AUVSI Exponential that I attended and what is now on display here. This technology evolves every day. And so you really need to come here to stay up with what is happening in the industry. So it's the exposure of your product, the people that you will meet, and the ability to see what else is out there and evolving today. So as you can see, that is going to be an amazing, amazing opportunity for our students. Not only will these 32 teams be able to compete in our uh, first national race since COVID, really our first real national race with 32 teams from around the United States, but they will also be able to be on the show floor and see all the exhibits 
And AUVSI is really stepping up for us and they are actually creating STEM programming that the students will actually have sessions that are designed by industry leaders uh, looking at uh, Embry-Riddle is gonna do some sessions, looking at the Air Force Academy doing some sessions to provide extra learning for your students and opportunities they're not gonna get anywhere else on the planet. So we're really excited about this. Um, so how, how do you get to this event is the question I get from people. Well, first of all, we only have room for 32 teams. So uh, that's the first thing you have to know. So if you want to be part of that 32, you have to get an invitation. And to get an invitation, first thing, you obviously have to register your team with drones in school. So if you haven't done that yet, please make sure you go to robot events and go to drones in school, click on register your team, however you have to get there and register your team. Uh, if you're one of our Florida group that is part of the Florida Power and Light, as soon as you register, if you want to send me an email, uh, you can just send it to info at dronesinschool.com. We'll make sure you get marked as paid through the Florida Power and Light grant so that you can get your name on the list. So that's first step. You have to register your team. Second of all, you need to participate in at least one of our events because by participating in events, that's how you earn national race points. So the way our race points work is you get points for each event that you enter. And depending on how you score in that event, you can earn between five and 10 points for each event that you enter. So if you score first place in everything in the event, so you score first place in capture flag, head to head, design and engineering, your marketing video and your portfolio and display, you get two points for each of those first place rankings, which gives you 10 points towards the national race. Okay, and there's a whole scale of points below that. So, you know, 1.8, 1.6, all the way down. The whole thing is laid out on our website. If you go to the team standings link under events, you can see that and list out the points. No matter what you do, just participating, you get five points towards getting that invitation to the national race. And the top 32 teams will get an invitation. We're really hoping to have a breakdown of 16 high school, 16 middle school, but we're really just looking for our best 32 teams to participate. So that's how you get that done. Uh, you do need to participate in by the end of March, because obviously the national race is at the end of April. So we will start sending out invitations for those that have kind of already met the threshold to qualify, um, probably mid March as the March virtual race results start rolling in, and then we'll send out all the final invitations by the end of March. So uh, once you're on the leaderboard, it's a good chance you're gonna get an invitation. So I wanted you to kind of be aware of that. So that takes me right into our, our next thing, which is our virtual races. Now the virtual races, again, they're designed to be set up at your location. This is really, our goal with the virtual races to be, to be a very, low entry point for you so that if your team's just getting started, you can participate in a virtual race. So let's talk a little bit more about that. We already had our January race. We had a couple of teams jump in on that one. We're hoping to get a lot more teams jump in here on our February and March races as things come back after the holiday break. But when you go to our website, you go to dronesinschool.com, you click on events, you click on virtual races. The current virtual race will always be right there for you with a PDF of how to lay out your track. So you'll see here is a couple screenshots. So this is the February race. You'll see it's gonna start here. And this is designed to be laid out on a gym floor. As you can see here from this graphic. So basically a half court is what we've designed every UTT track to run on. So you're gonna start here. You're gonna go through these two gates around a flag. You're gonna do this uh, reverse loop right here. And you're gonna come over the top, the split S. You're going to come around here through this gate, around the flag, around this flag, and then loop around. Every UTT race is five laps. So you're going to record your best time running five laps for your team, and you're going to submit that video. And that's all you have to do, okay, to participate. Sign up, register your team. There's a small fee for that registration. I think it's $15, $25. It's pretty cheap to register. You register. That gets you in there and you have recorded your race and you've earned some national race points. Let me show you how simple this is. A lot of people were kind of confused about 
well, I don't know how to record the video. You, it's not complicated as, uh, as far as that goes. You can just do it with a cell phone. Okay, so here's one of the submissions from our February race. So the teacher just stood with a cell phone uh, somewhere towards the middle of the track and they followed the drone around the racetrack five times. You'll see there they've got their, the, this was our February, I'm sorry, this is our January tracks. So it's very simple, wasn't very complicated for our first race of the season. You'll see in the background there, our capture the flag beacon set up. So a fairly, you know, fairly simple process. They record the five laps. The video provides the timing because we have the timing right from the video itself to figure out how your team ran that race. So again, a very, very simple thing. Uh, another thing to add to that for the virtual races, you can run a stock drone. So you don't have to build or 3D print a drone. We run stock drones for our virtual races uh, for the video part. So you're welcome to run your stock drone. And you don't have to carry a payload because obviously there's no way for us to look at this video until if you have a 3D printed drone or if you're carrying payload. So for that purpose, you can just run your regular drone, uh, run your five lap, submit that video time and get some points on the board towards that national race. Now you'll see here on this video, we have our official uh, gate pack. So let's go ahead and take a look at what that is. So you can buy this from uh, drones in school, which actually is, comes from Multi GP, which is our partner for our race pack. This is called the STEM Drone Racing Gate Bundle, and it's $100. You get the fabric to make uh, five gates and three flags, and it's a really nice thick vinyl. It's going to last you for years and years and years. I mean, unless a kid purposely or somebody purposely destroys it, you can run into that stuff with a five inch drone. It's not going to tap it. So it's great material. Uh, however, you don't have to buy that from us. So if you're like, hey, listen, 100 bucks, I can't afford that. We just want to get started. We don't have a sponsor yet. We don't have any funding. Uh, you know, our principal just bought us drones. They don't want to spend more money. No problem. You do not have to use our gates, our flags. You can make your own. I want to show an example here. Uh, one of our teachers, Sherry Travers from Cape View Elementary in Cape Canaveral, Florida, uh, she sent me a picture of this and said, look what we built. We saw you have flags in the February race. So we built these flags out of um, wrapping paper tubes, uh, some foam packing that they had in boxes. And then the top is the, a little dish from uh, some lunchtime uh, mandarin orange fruit that they've got on top. And they're gonna put a little light in that to light it up. You also see there they used some red and blue uh, plastic folders. And those are their starting pads. So again, this does not have to be a super complicated thing. You can build it yourself as long as you have a, a flag, a post for your fly around. And as long as you have an opening on your gates that's 36 inches wide and 30 inches tall, you can make it out of anything you want. All right. So don't feel like you've got to do some elaborate purchase or, or get what our official gates. That's not necessary to compete. Again, we're, we're a nonprofit. Obviously, we want this to be sustainable as an organization, but our goal here is to make sure that your team is getting the exposure and getting that experience so that they can make it to that national race because that's where we want to see everybody have success. So I hope that explains a little bit about those UTT and virtual race tracks. I also want to give a shout out here to uh, Mr. Gonzalez at Felix Varea Senior High School. Uh, he, down in Miami, is our first Florida face-to-face -face race, and he's going to have that on President's Day. That's uh, called the President's Day Drone Dash. So if you're a Florida team and you didn't hear about that yet, make sure you register. Due to the COVID restrictions at a school, he only has capacity for 10 teams. So make sure you get on that early. He's only charging $20 for the participation. He's going to have the full event, uh, all the judging. Really excited to have that in place. You can host events at your location. Obviously, you want to kind of look at our uh, standings and see how many schools are in your area, but you can certainly host an event. I would encourage you to reach out to local schools. Uh, we are operate a lot by word of mouth. Uh, we don't have a lot of money for advertising as a nonprofit, so certainly encourage you to reach out to local schools and say, hey, we got this program called Drones in School. Would you like to get involved? 
you'll probably find a lot of schools are looking at a competition like this and really haven't figured out how to make it work. So we'd love to help them out. So thanks again, Mr. Gonzalez, for making that work. Last thing I want to cover today with our town hall is I want to kind of talk a little bit about our website and some changes we made. Uh, as we've had some feedback from schools about, hey, we, we just don't know where to find stuff. We had some links going to Multi-GP. We had some links going to our other retail partner, ReadyMade RC. Uh, obviously, there's been supply chain issues and things that have happened over the past year that they've all struggled with. So to simplify all that for our teams, we've brought all that purchasing for the major components for the Drones in School program in-house. Uh, you just purchase it directly from us, and then we work with those vendors to get you what you need. And if they're out, we'll find a secondary vendor to get you what you need in a timely fashion. So just to share that a little bit, here's our website. You go to Drones in School. Now under Start Here, we have our season guide. We have a link to the curriculum, and then we've got a link right here for our supplies, which takes you to our store. Now, we realize schools operate mainly with purchase orders. Not a problem at all. We take purchase orders. We do it all the time. Not a problem. Our, my treasurer loves it, but he, uh, he does it because I ask him nicely. Uh, you just go on. You create your cart. You can look at the actual shipping that's in the cart on our website. Or you can just add 10% for shipping and handling, and we will just charge you what the actual shipping and handling is. Then you can email that purchase order to orders at dronesandschool.com. We get that order. We process it. Again, we work with whatever vendor we need you to, to get you the information. We've also broke up these um, into categories. As you probably know, we have two uh, kind of flight packages or aircraft that we support with our curriculum, one of which being the Emax Tiny Hawk 2, and the other one being our junior racer that we co-develop with uh, CDRA and Multi-GP. And then the other category is our race supplies. So if you're like, hey, I want to race, I need to know what I need to buy. I want to buy Capture the Flag beacons. I want to buy the whole drone racing bundle, or I just want to buy a single gate. Maybe I just want to have one gate so I know what they look like. You don't have to buy the whole $100 package and get all five in the flags. You just buy one if you want. So it's totally up to you. Now, keep in mind, one thing I always want to mention with our gates, it is just the fabric because uh, it's so expensive to ship the pipe. So you can just buy the pipe from a local uh, vendor. And when you click on the link, you'll see the assembly instructions linked right here. A little PDF shows you how long to cut it, how many pieces you need for each gate and flag that you're creating. I do also want to mention we do have our capture the flag beacons in stock. Uh, we have, have more of them on the way, but those are available. They are $34.9 on a piece, already assembled. They're already programmed, all ready to go. They even come with the USB cord. The only thing you have to provide is the little stand to stand them on, which again is just PVC pipe, the same stand that we use for our flags. So no problem there. Easy to make, easy to, uh, to pick those up. You would need 10 of those if you wanted to make a full set to run a race. Or if you want to build your own, we do still have the link to 3D print and manufacture your own components. Of course, you have to go get all those pieces and solder them together. Some teams have found it's just easier to just buy them. So we have them available for sale as well. And then back to our supply list. If you're looking for the Junior Racer, we have the Junior Racer kit here. We also are gonna be adding some uh, spare batteries for that. We've had some people request that, some pricing on those. And then the Emax Tiny Hawk 2. If you just need a drone, we did have a couple flyaways. So if you need to buy just a drone, you can buy the drone by itself. You can buy the spare batteries or you can buy the whole kit. If there's something you're looking for that you would need to purchase a replacement, just send us an email. You can send that email there to that orders at dronesandschool.com and we will try to add that to our cart and get some pricing on it and get it put up there as quickly as possible. Again, we're not, we're just basically, you know, passing this on to just simplify it for our schools. So you're not going multiple places for an order. You can go one stop shop. That's why I know as a teacher, that's what I want. I'm assuming that's what all of you want. So we want to keep this as simple as possible. 
We've also tried to streamline our website a little bit with the start here. We have our registration if you need to register, events, we have our national race information, our virtual race. Also, you'll see the little fly out there for submitting your files. So if you do a virtual race, you can submit your files. I talked about the video for the head-to-head -head flight that you're gonna capture, but you also can submit your marketing video, you can submit your portfolio, and you can submit your team display. All those can be submitted for judging during a virtual race. You don't have to do them all. You can just do just the race if you want, or you could you can even just do the marketing video if you want. Any component can be submitted for any virtual race to again earn those five points, get on the board, and then get some feedback for your team about how they're doing. Race registration will take you to our link on robot events where you can register your team. And then our team standings has all of our current teams that are registered. Okay, and then how they're sitting right now, not a whole lot of teams with points on there. We've got a couple teams that have participated in a couple races, so they've got some points on the board. We're hoping to see a lot more points come on here in February. We want to see our teams get active. I know it's been hard. Uh, COVID has slowed everything down and made everything more difficult, but we are persisting. We hope you will too. Hope you will be able to put things together here and get a team in the air. We're really looking forward to this national race in Orlando, and we hope that you come out. Uh, we're so excited. We have a big crowd. we got a lot of support. Embry Riddle is going to be coming in with judges. We got Multi GP bringing in their judges, and the uh, CEO of Multi GP is going to be there. It's going to be a great event and a lot of fun. All right, again, we want to thank everybody for being part of our Drones in School program. We appreciate the effort you're putting in. I know for some of you, our new schools, new teams, a lot to learn, uh, a lot to break through. I always encourage our teams. Our teachers don't feel like you have to, you know, it's, you know, the whole old uh, adage, how to eat an elephant one bite at a time. So you don't have to do it all at once. You don't have to jump all the way in. Just get a drone, get a pilot, get entering those virtual races, and everything else will start falling together real quick. So thanks a lot for being part of our organization. We appreciate your time and have a wonderful day.